Today we're going to clean stainless steel appliances and we're going to talk about a few important facts and ways to do it. So the first thing we need to do is clean the grease and grime. So when it comes to cutting through grease, you have a few options. You have a dish detergent like Dawn. You could also use a more natural version like Castile soap. You can use vinegar or you could use rubbing alcohol. I'll be using just a little Dawn dish detergent today and I'll just squeeze a little in there and I'm just going to make some soapy water. Next we're going to take a clean rag, dip it in the soapy water and start wiping down our appliances. So note which direction the grain goes on your appliances. So the first thing we're going to do is take our clean rag and we're going to hit the top so we get all the gunk off of where our hands grab the most, as well as the handle. This is the most germy and we wanna make sure that's good and clean. In addition to that, we're gonna continue wiping with the grain and get it good and clean, getting any drips off of it, any blotchiness, anything that was stuck to it, all of that we want wiped off first. So we, before we move on, let's talk about if you want a spot treat in the future and you don't wanna make that big sink full of soapy water. You can take a spray bottle, add about a tablespoon of dish soap in there, and fill the rest with water. Give it a little shake, and you've just created a multi-surface cleaner for your home that's safe for granite, as well as stainless steel. So I simply rinse the rag off and wipe off all the soapy residue, basically rinsing. And if you have to do it more than once, then you can. You can also get a squirt bottle of water and use a new clean cloth if you want. And now I'm just gonna take a cotton dishcloth and wipe it clean. No need to use any harsh chemicals. A clean, dry cotton cloth will wipe it clean and free it from all the fingerprints and anything else that was there. So the main reason that your stainless is streaky is because stainless needs to be moisturized. It needs oil to get rid of those streaks. So we're gonna be talking about some ways to do that. One way is to use a chemical cleaner and these are oil-based, so that works. Another big thing you've heard of is shaving cream, which I will demonstrate, but it is not my favorite. So you just spray it on and then you go ahead and wipe with the grain to clean and buff your stainless. Um, I find that it still is a little streaky and not my favorite. So my favorite choice is using just the oil you use in your home. So this is avocado oil. This is what I use. You could also use coconut oil. As long as you warm it up a little bit and becomes liquidy, you can use coconut oil. You can use olive oil. Any of these are fine. And so all you do is take your little bit of oil, pour it onto a soft cloth. It's important your cloth is soft because we don't want it to scratch your surface. We're gonna go ahead and take the oil and we are gonna wipe the direction of our stainless steel appliances. And this will moisturize. Now that I'm done doing this, you can see it looks lovely and it's streak free. And so we'll go ahead and do that to the rest of the appliances. So we're gonna talk about your sink and we're gonna use some baking soda for this next step. So the first thing I want to do is just get them a little bit wet, like so. Next, what I'm going to go ahead and do is take my baking soda and sprinkle it into my sink. Now this is an abrasive item, so it will leave some scratches. But as I was told from my stainless sink man when he put it in, he told me that it's okay because stainless sinks are gonna get scratched up by your silverware, pots and pans anyways, and they organically become more smooth and look like they're supposed to the more scratched up they get, which sounds counterintuitive. So all I'm gonna do is just go in here and I wanna get all the guck off of my sink. This is just removing, this is just a base is what baking soda is. So it's not necessarily gonna fight a bunch of germs. We're just using this first step to get anything that's stuck on here off. As you can see, like inside these little grooves, 
stuff hides in there. So you want to get in there and get it good and clean. While you're at it, go ahead and get some baking soda in that garbage disposal of yours too. Start deodorizing it. Okay, next we're gonna rinse it clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of that Dawn dish soap again onto this scrub pad just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead, now this is what's fighting the germs. So we're gonna go ahead and scrub again. The baking soda and dish soap can work together. They're both base bases. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it, but this one is more of the germ fighter. The first one just got most of the stuff stuck on your sink off. And then when you think you've got it all clean, you can go ahead and rinse it all down. And you will have a lovely clean sink. All right, so you can leave this pretty much as is, but if you want to, you could also use the oil in here to just give it a nice shine. I hope this inspires you to do some stainless steel cleaning of your own. Again, I'm Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations. Thanks for watching Home Talk, and I'll see you next time.